In this video, we are going to learn the synthesis of cholesterol in detail. The structure of cholesterol consists of 27 carbons. Every pink dot represents a carbon atom. In the structure of cholesterol, there is a steroid nucleus consisting of four hydrocarbon rings. Three of these rings are six-membered, containing six carbon atoms each, while one of the rings is five-membered. There is always a hydroxyl group on third carbon. There is a double bond between 5th and 6th carbon atoms and there is a hydrocarbon chain attached to the 17th carbon atom. This is an 8 carbons chain and it is also called hydrocarbon tail. This is the free form of cholesterol consisting of 27 carbon atoms, 46 atoms of hydrogen and 1 atom of oxygen. The synthesis of cholesterol takes place in the cytosol of cell. For this synthesis, all the carbon atoms are provided by acetyl-CoA. Acetyl-CoA is a two-carbon molecule, so we need a lot of acetyl-CoA to make one molecule of cholesterol. The process of cholesterol synthesis starts when two molecules of acetyl-CoA combine together and form acetoacetyl-CoA, which has four carbon atoms. We will keep counting carbon atoms in every step. In the final structure of cholesterol, we don't need any CoA or coenzyme A. So one of the coenzyme A will leave from here, while one of them will remain attached to the 4-carbon acetoacetyl-CoA molecule. Now we will add another molecule of acetyl-CoA and its CoA group will leave, obviously, and the final molecule will be a 6-carbon HMG-CoA. Because a new molecule is synthesized here, so the enzyme will be called HMG-CoA synthase. This is the structure of HMG-CoA. HMG-CoA is short for hydroxymethylglutaryl-CoA. We don't need coenzyme A any further, so it will leave this molecule. NADPH will come to cause the reduction of the remaining molecule. Reduction means the addition of hydrogen atoms. The hydrogen atoms will stabilize the configuration of the remaining molecule, which will now become mevalonate, which is a 6-carbon molecule. This is a very important step to remember. The enzyme used in this step will be HMG-CoA reductase. This is the rate-limiting enzyme in cholesterol synthesis. It is present in endoplasmic reticulum and catalyzes the conversion of HMG-CoA to mevalonate. Moving on from mevalonate, in a three-step reaction, mevalonate is converted to phosphopyrophosphomevalonate. Three moles of ATP donate their phosphate groups for this phosphorylation and itself become ADP. You have to remember that whenever there is phosphorylation of a substance, the enzyme will be kinase. So in this reaction, the enzyme is kinase. Mevalonate was a 6-carbon compound. Phosphopyrophosphomevalonate is also a 6-carbon compound. One of the carbon atoms will leave this phosphopyrophosphomevalonate in the form of carbon dioxide along with a phosphate group. This decarboxylation will produce a 5-carbon compound known as isopentenyl pyrophosphate. This portion of steps is important because more and more molecules of isopentenyl pyrophosphate will join together to form one molecule of cholesterol. One of the molecules of isopentenyl pyrophosphate will transform its structure and isomerize to dimethylallyl pyrophosphate. These two 5-carbon isomers that is isopentenyl pyrophosphate and dimethylallyl pyrophosphate condense together to produce Gerinyl pyrophosphate, which is a 10 carbon compound. Another molecule of isopentenyl pyrophosphate condenses with gerinyl pyrophosphate to form farnesyl pyrophosphate, which is a 15 carbon compound. Farnesyl pyrophosphate is produced with an expenditure of 9 moles of ATP. This whole process will repeat itself to produce another farnesyl pyrophosphate with utilization of another 9 moles of ATP. These two units of 15 carbon farnesyl pyrophosphate will unite to produce a 30 carbon compound known as squalene. We don't need phosphate in cholesterol, so the phosphate groups will leave and NADPH will come to provide hydrogen atoms, which will stabilize the remaining molecule. The enzyme here is squalene synthase. This is the structure of squalene. It is a linear molecule, but the structure is written in a way that it gives an image of rings, but there are no rings. 
Squalene undergoes hydroxylation and cyclization utilizing oxygen and NADPH and gets converted to lenosterol. This is the structure of lenosterol. The rings has been formed but lenosterol is a 30 carbon compound and we only need 27 carbons in cholesterol. The formation of cholesterol from lenosterol is a complex multi-step process with the following important reactions. First is the reduction of carbon atoms from 30 to 27. Second is the removal of two methyl groups from C4 and one methyl group from C14. Third is the shift of double bond from C8 to C5. And fourth is the reduction in double bond present between carbon 24 and carbon 25. Keeping these reactions in view, the structure of cholesterol is something like this. If you have any query, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so much.